everybody. We are back for round two of our uh, competitive modern league. We are on the draw and we are keeping a serviceable hand. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay. Search for tomorrow. All right. Well, we certainly have a clock and we have a little bit of disruption here. Double C, H shift, triangle All right, well, definitely taking one of these. It's bigger here. Um, question is, what's the current tribe builder? Probably, because this lets them get a dual land. Sakura Tribal is a single land. Um, the second scape shift is irrelevant. So, I'm going to go ahead and take Farseek from them. Oh, but they have the uh, search. That's annoying. All right, well, they will get to ramp up pretty quick then. So, given I want to go... Turn three, turn four. I'm gonna go ahead and play the virtue now. I don't have another play, obviously, so I might as well. Um, Liliana would be sweet in this in this matchup here, but we'll see. We are eighteen, which is unfortunate. Oh, with that Thoughtseize. Can't think of a good way to just gain one. But obviously, the goal would be to not shock. Not do myself more damage here. With the fetch lands. Is this any lands, right? Yeah. All right, well, this is interesting. So let's do some math here. Um, well, I guess we get two tokens either way. We start, finish, or virtue. So let's just go ahead and do this. So basically, they're dead next turn if they can't kill our tokens here. And I can't think of what they need. Cryptic, sure. Counter draw. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, doubt they have any main deck sweepers. I mean, either way, I just need a clock. Given I know they have their escape ships in hand. Um, Eight power, so still two turn clock. Not sure when I'm dead. I don't quite remember what the math is. Um, or where Valakit hits us. All right. Well, I think we're now we're dead next turn to escape shift. So I guess we need. Oh wow, they do run main deck sweeper, huh? All right, well, I mean, I think we're dead anyway, right? The other option was to hold off, um, try to play start, finish at the end of their turn, beforehand, and then, ah, who knows? Tough call, I think. With the blue, I should have been expecting the command. Um, especially with five open mana, maybe I should have just held off on the virtue and just gotten in there for four. But I think either way, we're dead right now. Maybe not. I mean, we're dead soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me 
two dead cards in hand. This is like, this is our whole game right now. It's just this start. Snap dash to cryptic woof. Um, I am going to fatal push snapcaster though, just to use my mana. Counter draw, and we know they just have two sh scape shifts, so <laughs> we can't get rid of both of those cards. Uh, Sword's a good draw, definitely. Because now we can start gaining life if they... if they let it live. Or if they let both live, I should say, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Escape shift. So the question is, does the blue version run um, does it run prime time? Uh, if we have it here, so we want Teamer Valka, so it's not Titan Shift. Here we go. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, just Tri Builder and Snapcaster Mage. Oh, right, now James the Mind Sculptor. Right. So basically, it only matters for whether or not I want to keep in my Path to Exiles, but I don't believe I do. Okay. Um. Don't know that I want anguish them making for anything necessarily. Let's see. Um, I want life gain. I want surgical. I want my discard, I don't want fatal push, I want all these. Inquisition's kind of awkward, but it's good early. Um, and I may just not want my Path to Exiles at all. I don't know what they bring in sideboard. Or you have champions in consideration just to gain some life, doesn't die to Sweltering Suns. Uh, if I have a sword, I can pump this and start gaining more life. Do I want disenchant for anything? Question is, I get rid of all my removal. I guess I still have start finish as some removal if I want to. Um, so bring in angers. Bayloth is annoying, but let's start to finish. And uh, I don't want to keep in patches for that. Snapcaster Jace. Tracker. Click. So basically, no Primeval Titan. So Tracker's annoying. Click doesn't matter. So. Let's. Hmm. Basically, my only way to deal with Tracker is start finish or discard spells, obviously. Try this. Obviously, if we can surgical escape shift or Valka, I think we're okay. We can probably beat him down more quickly. Oriok champion, 
Makes it a little faster to flip Legion's Landing if that matters. I'll try this. I'm not sure. I mean, this looks good. The question is whether I want any number of Path to Exiles, basically. Um, this is a really awkward slow hand, but I do like it. Um, if this was untapped, it'd be great, but so be it. It's annoying for the turn one, uh, search for tomorrow, obviously, but I think just having some discard spells, having a ghost quarter, and having some tokens is what I want. Oh, yeah. Surgical? To rest. Um, this can take a tribe elder if they have one. Farseek. Don't care about anger. Don't really care about remand. I guess I just take Farseek just so they don't. I mean, I have plenty. I can eventually take the Anger if I want to. They have plenty of lands though. Remand's kind of tough because I can't recast my discard spell, but. I guess it's just like the less ramp the better. For now, this is just a land. I mean, maybe I just take a. I'm going to want to save my Thoughtsies for something better. I'll let them first. They have, they have plenty of lands, and the idea is to go quarter their Valakut anyway. And I'm going to play it now. I had the option I wouldn't, so I didn't give them the knowledge, but... I don't know that ramping really matters. And who knows, maybe I'm really off there, but I think I just want to fight over the cards that matter. All right, well. Hmm. I can't, I'm gonna really hose my mana here, but I think that's fine. I don't want to... Are there any counter spells? So the idea is do I draw step surgical? I don't want them to I want them to draw a counter spell though. Reman doesn't matter. Yeah, who knows? They might draw a negate or something. So let's just go ahead and do this now. And then we're really slowing ourselves down mana-wise, but we're also really cutting down our opponent's uh, win conditions here. Two Valakut, that's it? So what do they have? How do they win? Scriptics, Is It Charm, Jace. Two Snapcaster, three Jace. Escape Shift is irrelevant. Two more Angers. Sweltering Suns. Oh, that was a main deck, Sweltering Suns? That got just the Singleton? That's annoying. So basically, it's just Jace. Okay. That we will probably never be able to Thought Seize because. They're going to be able to cast it. And I have nothing else to do. So basically, we really need to draw land. And our opponent is on mono lands, still lands. Well, it's gonna be a really weird game, I tell you that much. Problem is, if they do draw a Jace, they could really 
really hose us. Wow. Not good news. Basically, you just need to get any kind of board presence before Chase comes down. Um, otherwise, it's going to fate seal us to death. Okay, land. All right, it's getting really shady here. It's kind of ridiculous though. Well, I haven't drawn two lands, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything with my two lands, other than play Virtue, and I'd be taking a lot of damage off of Valkuts right now. Don't know what's in my opponent's hand, but it's probably nothing. I mean, it's not Chase, it's all that matters. I'm sure Counterspells and whatnot, but... Alright, this has to be a land. Chimney Cricket. Well, this is being recorded because I don't think anybody would believe this <laughs> otherwise. 7, 14 cards. Fifteen somehow. Yeah, fifteen. Wow, this is un unbelievable. Um, Lilian is just never going to do anything, so... <laughs> Did not realize you could bounce any... any card. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, they're eventually just going to draw a Jason win, so... They thin their deck out of any lands. Well, landing would be, or will be sweet. Just gain some life back, finally. This is unbelievable. We're at 18 cards so far and just a shambling vet in the ghost quarter. Um, I mean, they're going to have anger the gods and whatnot, so... I want to keep the Oriok champion around. Obviously, discarding souls. I could have done that a long time ago, obviously, so I could play it, but yeah. I know they have just infinite counters in their hand, so I don't want to run it into that quite yet. want to keep things that are going to interact with this tribe elder and put any kind of clock on. So land now would be good because now I can double spell. Like I said, Jace is the only card that really matters here. Um, let's try this again. Okay. So surely now they can just bounce this or counter my token makers or something, but again, I'd rather stick this one, but obviously then I do have Lingering Souls out of the graveyard. If I drew a white source, maybe I'd try Oriok Champion, but okay, cool.
Um, they can still sweep her now, but that's okay. I know that's coming at some point. Obviously, I'd love to have the lifelink creature stick around, but they don't have lightning bolts or anything. They do have lightning bolts. I wonder if my opponent sided boarded those out, though. They do. Bounce my vampire, countered my lingering soul, sure. Alright, so now this is kind of shady, though. Is can I actually afford to shock myself? What would I do with that? Nothing really. So, remand be annoying, hard counter would be fine. Because I do want it in my graveyard. Okay. Weird, weird game here. Let's see what happens here. And start, finish, or lingering souls. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go to two. You start, finish. The end of their turn, and let's see what the next move is. Or I guess not, I guess I can block. Yeah, it's well worth it to do this before blocks. If they counter it, they're going to counter it anyway. But if they don't, I'd rather keep a life. They might beat me with. Sakura Tribe Elder beating down for like 16. Is it Charm? Okay. Yes. I need a little breathing room now. Still have lingering souls. To be fair, they haven't found a Jace either. Maybe they're not running Jace, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm obviously just playing off of that list I saw, but... It's very possible they're just not running Jace. All right, so now I can do this and Liliana, so I'm going to do that. And if I can attack with three creatures, that's awesome. Flip. Gain some life. Oops. Maybe use three cryptics, so they may have another have any more. Alright, now we're looking alright. Finally. Yeah, discard shape escape ship, it's fine. I wonder if they should have just cast escape ship to get all the rest of their lands out of their library. And then they'd just be trying just all gas. I guess not all gas, because then they have Search for Tomorrows and Farseeks and stuff that don't do anything, but still, I mean, those still don't do anything for them. Yeah. Kind of interesting there. Um... I mean, the only three cryptics. I don't know what I want to surgical. Um, hmm. I guess anger. 
Why didn't they cast that? That's weird. I guess I should have looked at their deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, they do have three chases. Wow, okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought I saw this. Yeah, we did look at it. Okay, I wasn't just basing it off of this. Okay, we did see it. So it's still Snapcaster, Jace, the only thing. Okay. Well, now they're, we're really just, I don't know why they didn't cast Anger last turn. That's strange. Um, can I do both of them? I can't, uh, no, if I had shoot. Yeah, if I had paid life for surgical, I could have. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Um, so that even, even Chase doesn't save them, so. That was a weird game. Okay, so. Definitely no creatures. Um, I'm going to bring in Anguish and Making for Jace. And Champion's kind of awkward. Callers? Probably good enough. Just to gain life. I mean, I guess the question is what's better to gain life, Champion or Caller? Um, Caller's repeatable. Do I not want, like, do I want to lose a Bitter Blossom? So I don't take too much damage. Soren's good. My threats are good. I did like Surgical. Can lose an Inquisition, potentially. But they have so many counters that, well, on the draw. I think it's Oriok Champion or Caller. Let's do... Let's lose a champion. It is nice that it lives through the... Um, yeah, it lives through the... Um, angers and such. And it gains life pretty immediately as long as they resolve a token spell. It's good with Bitter Blossom. Let's just lose that. Probably only gaining one or two off with that a turn, and Mario Champion's gonna gain me like two every other turn, so it kind of evens out. So we'll see. And like I said, <clears throat> they can Cryptic Champion, but that's about it. And if it lives with exactly with a sword in play, then we're pretty happy about that. Um, hand's not bad at all. Go champion. Hopefully draw some interaction. Virtue's awkward. I like the, any discard spell there would have been really good. Now they can, I mean, I guess the worst they can do is remand champion, which isn't exactly the worst. I think if I draw a discard spell, though, I'd just play that. And it's a little thing, but obviously you want to try to get, like, even though I'd like to fetch for tap lands, you want to get your um, courtyards out soon while you can because Obviously they come in tap later. And obviously there I don't have a second courtyard, but if I drew a second courtyard next turn, then I would want to play that. Again, it's just small stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, they might have a hard, hard counter for it, but it's okay. No, okay. So what are they doing with three mana here? Hopefully they tap out for something, because I really want to play Sword and I do not want to get it countered. Uh, that's interesting. I guess I could activate Vent and see what they do. 
I'm not going to escape shift yet. I may as well hold my ghost quarter and surgical. Let's go ahead and get a basic planes here. I just attack with a vent, make them do something. Virtue doesn't do anything for a while, and Soren's too important, I think, to just run into a cryptic command here. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's a way to interact with the Warrior Champion, but I'm okay with that. And I guess they were just going to snap past your remand. But that's fine. Getting two hits of lifelink in is pretty good. Kind of accomplishes what Warrior Champion wanted, right? Gain me a life. Allow Shambling Vent to gain me two life. To care a snap caster that they got no value from. Um... Maybe I want to just cast these virtues. Maybe not. Okay. This is going all right. Kind of concerns me. Jeez. All right. Man himself. So I'll return a creature. That's all I understand. Okay. So they're brainstorming. So I can't hit Jace down to one. Don't know that they can do anything with one mana. Obviously, kind of scary that they can do this, but. Prioritize hitting Jace, obviously. This is good. This is how I want to start. Remand, dispel, anger. Alright, so dispel doesn't do anything. Well, no, it does hit surgical. Okay. The gate's tough. Oh, a creature, two damage, a creature, draw two, discard two. So, surgical is going to be really hard to resolve, clearly. They tap out for escape shift, though. Might be able to get it there. Could also resolve a Sorin now. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea. So next turn, they can go put him up to f chase up to five or keep him at three. But with a ton of virtues, my uh, Soren token could still hit it. And I don't think I'm going to take both Dispels out of my opponent's hand before. Well, I guess I could, yeah, because no, I still have Is It Charm Negate. So I can take a Dispel and Surgical, a Dispel, but then the Surgical doesn't do anything. So let's take the Charm. Let's. So I want to hit Jace and then try to hit Jace again. I don't draw an answer for it, for the event. I want to land a Soren here. 
obviously then I have to anger the token away. Which kind of makes me wish. Well, no, I would have had to land two virtues, but let's do that. Chase is scary, clearly, but Um, this will allow me, I mean, they have to interact. Hey, they have to non-counterspell interact. And... Gives me a board presence to kill Jace later. So, clearly, I had an opening to Surgical there, but I don't know that I cared to for anything. I think Snapcaster is the only thing that I would have cared to Surgical. You know, it's kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure Surgical is the only instant in my deck, other than Start. Um, Maybe that's what they had in mind with the spell. I, and probably Surgical too, obviously, given that that's what got them game one. All right, so now they have to anger and have another answer for my Shambling Vent. Because Shambling Vent's going to go up to three power. Okay, that's a thing. Then they can't anger. Dick, I presume. Well, it's annoying, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I think they would have killed it in response to virtue anyway. So it's not a huge deal. Spell negate negate. Um. I mean, I guess it's just anger. It saves my next token. And then do I bother to attack with vent? I think I'd rather play virtues. Yeah, because I think it just makes them... Yeah, no, I think I have to. I probably should have left open Ghost Quarter, huh? That was a pretty huge mistake because they can Valakut and Scape Shift now with the Brainstorm, obviously. But just those three cards, I knew they don't have it. Um, that was. Pretty bad on my end. Huh. Oh, hope that doesn't cost me the smash. They're not about escape shift, they can't. Okay. 
just scape shift actually. Because they bring the Valka. I guess it triggers anyway. The ghost quarter has to happen first. Let's try again. What if they board it out? Valkets and scape ships and whatnot. So basically, this clears the way basically if um, to see if my shambling vent will hit or not. Because um, they can't negate and cryptic bounce. You can cryptic now, and then if I know. Okay. So I want to hit chase down to one, probably. Well, I would like to land my Soren again. To surgical cryptic. Yes, no, because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. And they haven't fetched land in a while. Oh, I guess they searched for tomorrow, which would have shuffled away cards. So they may just not have those dispels in the gates anymore. Wow. I'm getting. Pretty lucky with all these draws. Inquisition, Nazis, Duress, Inquisition. Yeah. So do I land a Soren now? I guess I could try to Surgical Cryptic. Make them do something in case they have cryptic to do something with a vent. Yep. I feel like they wouldn't have left their Jace dead on board. What do I do? They cryptic bounce my shambling vent? Because if they have cryptic, they're just going to counter my sword anyway, so. Huh. Okay. We're doing this. Hmm. How many is it charge do they run? One virtue is not going to put me past anger and sweltering suns. Really would like to keep this ghost quarter open, obviously. Oh, that's good. Okay. Again, the option was to attack with Shambling Vent as well, but this token is now lethal and lives through Anger and Sweltering Suns. Um, 
and didn't want to tap the ghost quarter. So anyway, that was a pretty sweet match actually. And uh, we will be back for round three.